January 20, Monday of the second week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. The disciples of John and of the Pharisees were accustomed to fast. People came to Jesus and objected. Why do the disciples of John and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrinking cloth on an old cloth. If it does, its fullness pulls away the new from the old, and the tear gets worse. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the skins are ruined. Rather, new wine is poured into fresh wine skins. The Gospel of the Lord they will fast. Jesus' disciples do not fast, unlike John's disciples and the Pharisees. Fasting is a form of religious discipline and piety that has spiritual benefits. The rejection insinuates that Jesus is not a good spiritual leader because he does not discipline his disciples. Jesus does not see the need for his disciples to fast. They must enjoy His presence. They will fast when He, their bridegroom, is taken away. For Jesus, fasting has meaning only if it is in sync with God's plan. Onlookers should wait on the proper time. His movement is now getting momentum and should not be slowed down by the old practices. Jesus tells a parable saying to make his point clear. No one sews a piece of unshrinking cloth to an old cloth. His new teaching is incompatible with the old. Jesus demands a new heart, a new mind, a new enthusiasm, new attitude, new paradigm, new platform for his teaching to sink in. Jesus' mission should not be spoiled by insisting on the old that has lost its relevance or long served its purpose and now needs to be replaced by the new.